And everybody get, has to get that chance and everyone started out at a certain point. And we are aiming at all different levels. As Tony once said, he doesn't believe in the idea that there's an amateur and a professional. And I think that's really nice because you have mentors in all different systems. You don't really have that in music. Usually you don't have anybody to show you how to do it. Usually you have to figure that out by yourself. We just believe there are a lot of things to be learned from the ones who are successful with what they do. And so maybe that encourages or maybe even inspires of course, we can't really push anybody or make anybody successful, but at least we try to give them a forum for what they do. To me, CDR has always been about, it's always been a project that's about the idea of developing music and creating a safe space to hear music as it's been developed and not necessarily relying on whether or not the night has a headline DJ or the night's full of you know, the latest tunes or whether it's about bangers. It's actually about celebrating the process and, and the possibilities from the process. CDR Berlin is programmed in the way that we always do two workshops in the beginning of the night where we have a more established artists and they share their knowledge. Uh, they talk about the philosophy of or their production techniques and after that we uh, play the tunes that are submitted to the night. People have the chance to upload music online or bring it on a USB stick or a CD to the night and that's the music that we play after the workshops. A lot of people make music in isolation, and particularly with modern technology, a lot of people tend to make music on a lap, some kind of portable device. Um, and invariably, a lot of people hear it developed either on headphones or in a you know, small environment, a bedroom or small studio. So the fact that people get the opportunity to hear a track in a, in a club that they probably got drunk in or you know, listened to their favorite DJ in, or, is actually such a powerful concept. We don't really judge the music. We don't have a system where um, people can vote for tunes. We just play them, display the artist name and the track title, and that's it. Well, sometimes you have people who come up and say, oh, I really have to leave, can you please play my tune? And then you play their tune, and then you see them an hour after. So that already shows that some of them are really eager to wait for the tune to be played. And it sounds very geeky in the end, or that you only have nerds standing around looking or waiting for that tune to be played and then they leave. But uh, we are really pleasantly surprised that a lot of people come just to dance. Just people who want to experience something new and uh, you never know. I mean, you might hear a track that becomes the next hit the next day.